Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. It's Monday. It is Monday. I'm feeling like it's a Monday. I'm a little sleepy. <sighs> but you know what? That's okay because it's the Monday morning show. It's Wake us all up. It's the Monday morning show and we're going to get up. We're going to be awake. Uh, I'm Noah. I'm Ashley. And we are here for the Monday morning show. So, how was your weekend, Ashley? What My did you weekend do? was so good. Was it so good? And so busy. And so busy. Yes. My oldest came home. She's been in Arizona for 10 days, so she came home on Saturday. Nice. Was she so happy to be home? So did happy to be home. The 110 degree heat. Uh, it was 115. <gasps> no. Yeah. No, she did not miss that one little bit. Okay, good. She's glad to come home to some <laughs> moderate temperatures. Good. It was my birthday this weekend, so we got to see family and celebrate. Yay. And then I went to a concert last night, so it was oh very gosh. busy. Who did you see? Pitbull. Wow. Yes. How fun is that? It's very fun. Uh, how about you? How was your weekend? My weekend was really good. I uh, went to a wedding on your birthday. Oh, fun. It was, you were not there. No. I'm sorry. I'm but sad. it was really nice. It was a family friend we grew up with, so that was great. And I dog sat this weekend, and the house I was at had a pool with nice. a water slide. Did you go down so the slide? I did go down the slide. Fun. It was very fun. So it was a lovely weekend. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, it's shaping up to be a lovely week. We'll leave the weekend in the past. Yes. We're headed forward on this week. <laughs> well, I'm pretty excited about tomorrow. It's a special holiday. What kind of holiday it is it? It is All-American Pet Photo Day. What? That's what I hear. Wow. Just about appreciating our furry friends and showing them off. Oh. Do you have any pets to show off? I have four pets. That's a lot of pets. A lot of pets. I have pets. two dogs and two cats. Oh, my gosh. But yes, I'd like to show them off a little Great, bit. Great, let's see some pictures. Okay, here they are. Have any pets, Noah? Well, I do not have any pets, but I dog sit professionally, I would say. Yes, I think so. So I have claimed a lot of other people's pets. Mm. Does that count? It does. That might be too many pets to show. Probably. We probably shouldn't show all of no, them. No, we shouldn't show all of them. But maybe we could show a couple. All right. Here they are. recognized a couple of those dogs. Oh, did you? Hmm. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> well, there's a lot of pets here at Freedom Village, and we would love to show them off. So if you would like to share your pictures of your pets, we'd love to show them off next week on the Monday Morning Show. And you can email your photos to freedomvillageactivities at gmail.com. Or just stop by the activities office and we'll take care of it for you. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see all the pets. That's going to be, be so, so much fun. fun. I love pets. Me too. <laughs> and now I think it is time to talk about what the heck is going on around here. I think so. There's a lot this week. It's a fun week. Great. Let's get started. What are we starting with, Ashley? <laughs> the best thing. The best thing. Tonight. The Monday morning show? Well, Monday morning <laughs> show. And then tonight, ah. Beach Walk and Captain Sunday. Perfect. Yes, that is always a, great a good thing. time. Hopefully, it's a little less windy than the last beach, beach yes. walk. It was pretty windy that time. So it's a pretty short trip to the beach that time. Yes. but everyone got their ice cream. They still. did. So that's all that matters. Yes. And tomorrow, so we have the village artists tomorrow at eleven. They're heading out on the bus to go do some sketching. That should be really fun. And at three o'clock, we have a travelogue that will be presented by a resident's brother who mm. went on a crazy long trip to South America and he's gonna show us a bunch of different things that they did and saw and that will be at three o'clock in the auditorium. So that should a be cool. 74 day yes, cruise. 74 days. Can you imagine? That's like 
a million years. I've heard about some people in their retirement who have decided that they would just take multiple of these cruises oh. in a year and they just live on cruise ship. Wow. It ends up being cheaper than paying for a house, paying for your utilities, paying for all this stuff. And no you get to way. I mean, yeah. That's crazy. That's really cool. Yeah. Huh. So they were on a 74-day awesome. trip and they're going to come talk about it on Tuesday. That'll be a lot of fun to see. Yeah. And then to cap off Tuesday night, we've got the American Legion Band concert at 645. Wonderful. Well, Wednesday, if you're looking for us, <laughs> we won't be here. We will not be here. We will not be in the office. Where will we be? Well, I can't tell you where we'll be. Well, <laughs> I feel like I should know where we are. Mm -hmm. oh, I can't wait. We're going on a mystery trip on it's Wednesday. It's a mystery trip. So we'll see you again on Thursday. Yeah, we'll be gone for all quite day. a while. Yeah, yeah on Wednesday. Long. So if you're signed up, 7.30 a.m., the bus is heading out, and we cannot wait for you to find out where we're going. So that should be awesome. Mm -hmm. And then on Thursday, uh, hopefully if you weren't on the mystery trip, you'll be, have enough energy to get up and go to <laughs> breakfast the next morning. And maybe if you were on the mystery mm -hmm. trip, you're feeling bold. Uh, we've got breakfast at Rainbow Grill in Hudsonville oh, nice. on Thursday morning. So that should be nice. We haven't been there in a long time. That's a great place. So that will be great. And then Thursday evening, we have our s'mores and songs in the backyard. So Lenny Cross was, is going to help us lead, help lead us in some campfire songs. And we'll sit around and make s'mores and just have Beautiful. a nice night. That'll yeah, be fun. I'm excited. It's yeah. going to be a good time. Well, we're going to end the week with another fun outdoor activity. Folks on spokes, Noah and Sarah heading out on their bikes. Where Ooh, we that'll be a great bike ride. I mm -hmm. can't wait to get back out there. It's my favorite thing. That's the best way One to of. end the week. <laughs> yes, besides the is. Monday morning show. Besides the Monday morning show and besides uh, ice cream at the beach. Well, true. So and we, mystery trips. We have lots of favorite things. <laughs> we do. It's all a lot of fun. Oh, we just have too much fun. Well, there's a lot to choose from this week and a lot of fun things to do. Yeah. We're very excited to share our interview with you this week. Joe Kuiper had a chance to sit down with Judy Beltman and learn a little bit more about her. So let's take a look. Good morning. Once again, we're here. My name is Joe Kuiper, and I'm here with Judy Beltman. Um, a recent arrival here at Freedom Village. How long, my dear? Oh, almost two years now. Two years already. Some of us have gotten to know you, and we know you mm -hmm. as a really nice, nice person okay. to get to know. And Thank that's you. why I wanted to interview you and present you to the rest of the people here at Freedom Village so they get to know you a little better. And I think that's wonderful. Oh, that's great. And I understand a big part of your life is bicycling. Is that true? That's true. How many miles have you traveled on a bicycle? Well, I started biking, bicycling seriously in 1984. And I've tr and I kept track of all my mileage. I had a note um, on the garage door, so every time I got home, I could put my miles down. And I've biked about sixty thousand miles. Sixty thousand. Now, in that period of time, have you changed bicycles quite a bit? No, I think twice. I think twice, what's maybe your, three times. What's your, what's your favorite bike? Oh, my favorite bike was my Paramount. My first bike. That was just a classic that was. bike, and it was great, and it was fun to ride because these young guys would go by and oh wow, what a nice bike! Is so, it? Tell me about a Paramount bike. Why is that so unique? I don't know. It was made by Schwinn, and it was just a very really? popular model that they made. Sixteen. Uh, how many? How many speeds on it? Oh, that's a good question. I. I think it was 10, uh -huh. but I think I had the crank changed on that bike and then it, that doubled yeah. up. So and I you can do that. Right? Yes, yes. And where were these miles done? Um, well, the rule is that we had to bike bicycle at least 10 miles in every place that we went if we were going to count it as a destination. So we've bicycled in all 50 states. Cool. and. Um, eight foreign countries, and that includes um, Great Britain. We started just north of London and biked to the up into Scotland, up to the upper edge of Scotland, we with about 45 other people. Most of them were from England. So it was very interesting. We slept in tents, and they carried our tents for us. 
And we had two clowns who traveled with us who did something did, funny. Did I hear you correctly? Clowns? Clowns. Yes. And they'd be alongside the road someplace doing something funny when, you're, when we rode past. <laughs> so it was just a really, really <laughs> fun ride. And did you do this all on the same bike, this Paramount bike, or did you change bikes overseas? Um, no, we took our bikes with us. You did. So we did do it on our bikes. Got lots of miles. Lots of tires were changes, I bet. Um, no, not really. Good. Oh, great. Yeah. What years was this when you did this? Oh, dear. Oh, well. I'm not good at that. that. It's, it's been it's a while. It's been some time ago? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll just let Definitely. that one go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, is that, was that your most difficult ride, or were there others that were more difficult? Did you do any mountain Viking or um, hilly, no. some were more hilly than others? Well, yes, some certainly were. France was more hilly. Mm -hmm. um, but I think probably the most difficult ride, although it was very flat, was New Orleans to Holland. And it was difficult because it wasn't very interesting. Oh. I mean, <laughs> you just, right. Yeah. You go through farmlands for 60 miles and go to bed and get up and then you go 80 miles and um, it was fun because of the people that I was with, yeah, but yeah. the ride itself was not. And it, so the people are interesting. How about the food that you had along the way? Was that interesting too? Well, uh, we went with, I went with Wandering Wheels, which is a, a small company in Indiana, and they have a trailer that they pull, mm -hmm. which is a kitchen. Oh, yeah. So they made breakfast and dinner for us. Anything good? Every day. Any, anything very different or just spaghetti? <laughs> you, know. well, you could have had that at home. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, oh. It was the convenience. Oh, that, that's true. It, and we slept in churches. Oh. So we oh. Had, all had our sleeping bags and sleeping mats. Mm -hmm. And I, they'd go out in the morning and find a church about 60 miles from where we were. And that's where we'd sleep. You meet a lot of people, don't you, on these bike trips? Yes. You keep in touch with some of those people? Um, we did, but you know, it's been a long time. That it gradually of, tapers off. That kind of falls away. So, yeah. 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 But in the meantime, you do some biking here, don't you? Yes, we do. Where do you go here? Um, well, since we moved to Freedom, we're still figuring that out. Oh. When we lived on the north side of Lake Mac, then we always went north. And we went up either to, the, to, to Port Sheldon or the Christian Reform Conference grounds, mm -hmm. or Grand Haven, depending on how we felt and how much time we had. Um, from here, we I think we're gonna bike out towards the beach. We have a couple of times oh, now. Yeah. Because we like to go where there's <coughs> relatively little traffic or and or bike paths, bike routes. And that's getting more important the older we get. I mean, um, I, I'm not crazy about riding in the road with cars anymore. So. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got a bike group here at Freedom. Are you part of that now? We have had problems on Friday mornings that it hasn't worked out for us. Oh. We went with them once, uh -huh. and it was really fun. We went out to the airport. Um, well, we didn't go to the, we stopped at the restaurant across the street from the airport, but I don't know what the name of it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's important on the rides, you know, you got to find the great coffee shops too. <laughs> that's and the right. Have the really good coffee. Yes. <laughs> and it was great, and we would want to do it again, but it has to work. So. Well, let's let's deviate a little bit okay. from your act, that activity and let, let's get to the mental part of what you do. I understand you went back to college and got a degree. I did. What did you do it in, and where, where did you do it? Um, well, I started at Calvin, went there for a year and a half, and then I, I was just, I wasn't concentrating, I wasn't doing anything that was very helpful, so I quit. And um, then I met Frank, got married, and, but always regretted not graduating. But we had kids and, um, so I took a class about every other year for 25 years. Is that right? And I took classes at Aquinas, at Grand, I eventually graduated from Grand Valley, um, but I commuted to state. I never took any at Hope. I took some at Calvin, kind of all over. What a lot of diligence that takes. Well, it was my hobby. 
Oh. So, um, so finally you got your degree. And finally I got my degree and then I originally, when I was young, I wanted to be a social worker. So, and I, I didn't change, deviate from that. Um, and I tried a couple, there was a program in Kalamazoo, but the best program was in Lansing at Michigan State. Mm -hmm. Well, the best one was at U of M, but they didn't accept me. So yeah. Michigan State was oh, next. They best. don't know what they missed. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm I'm thankful they didn't accept me because I commuted two days a week for three years to oh, yeah. to well, Lansing. Your, well, your children is, were older by then, right? Children were older. Mm -hmm. They were three of them were out. Kathy was still home, uh, but she was in high school. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. You know, and then I just went to class and would come back to Grand Rapids. So, or huh? Yeah, I lived in Grand Rapids. So now you've gotten your degree, and tell mm -hmm. me what, then you became employed by somebody, and what did you do? Um, I had a private practice, which was marginal, and I went to work, I have to think, at my, well, I worked at Mary Freebed for a number of years as a social worker. Oh. And that was very interesting work. Um, but eventually my position became full-time. What age group is that you're working with then? Adults? Um, yes. Any? And, any and and they, yeah, they have like um, so the stroke group and the um, people who are uh, have injuries that they can't walk. And there's four, I don't remember what they are now, but there's four different sections, divisions, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. So, and because I was part-time, I just filled in for whoever um, wasn't there or had a baby or... No, that's okay. Um, okay. Um, so I, I worked in all the divisions and then uh, eventually what I did became full-time and I didn't want to work full-time. So then I switched over to Pine Rest oh. and I worked part-time there. But that, you commuted then. Where were you living? We oh. still lived in, in, no, let me think. We lived in Grand Rapids part of the time. We moved to Holland while I was doing that. Mm -hmm. But that, that's not a bad commute. No, not um, pretty good. And there I worked with all ages, and mostly inpatients, and doing admissions. Um, and that was really interesting. Did you like work. doing that? Was that satisfying work? Oh, that's a was good question, if I liked doing it. It was very satisfying. Um, there's also a sad element in it, I guess. Um, you do see so many problems, but there's a cheerful element because you're helping people. So it's a balance. Um, you like doing that? Yes, I did like doing that. Are you still doing that? No, I stopped. Maybe in your daily life? Oh, maybe in my daily life. Um, I, I don't. I don't know. I can't judge that because I'm, I'm just who I am. But I'm, it's your personality, isn't it? I don't know. I don't think so. But I think you come maybe. across as someone who likes to help people, really. Oh well, thank you. That's. I, I think. I think I. It's. It's my intention to always want to help people. I don't know if I always get there. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> we, make, we make the try. So Yeah. Or we're tired that day or, yeah. What kind of cl clients really interest you the most? Um, that's a good question. I think the children and probably the young teens and the teenagers, um, some of them were so difficult but so sweet, mm -hmm. um, und underlying their issues. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I was really helping someone for their future, as opposed to working with the people my age, <laughs> of, which I did too for a while. But I, I Well, at that age, you can, maybe you can see a progress and it, hope for the future for them. They're more malleable, more. Yes. Uh, Yes, yes, that's a good, good way to put it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, yes, yeah. Do you see any of those people, or do you just, do, well, you don't do that anymore? Once they're done, you once don't. they're done, they're done. Except that I have one young woman 
I think she was about 12 when I saw her. And we still stay in contact with each other. Do you? Yes, and it's amazing. She's really the one who found me. And it's, I don't see her, she doesn't live in town. Mm -hmm. But we communicate, I, um, I know. It's really special. That is it, very satisfying, isn't it? She, well, yeah. she's a special person, so oh, um, that's it's great. Been very nice. Now you uh, you have children, mm -hmm. and where are they near? Yes, we have two daughters here in mm -hmm. Holland, and well, that's not quite true. We have a daughter with a cottage in Holland. She lives in Grand Rapids, okay. and then a daughter who lives in Holland, and one son lives in near Ann Arbor, and another son lives in Boulder, Colorado. Huh. So they're here and they're there. Well, I hope they come to visit you, especially the ones from Colorado, come and see you here. Um, the other ones. They have been here. That's good. That's right. That's great to see where mom and dad live. Yes, exactly. That's great. Yeah. Well, we're so glad to have you here at Freedom Village. Thank, oh, thank you for you. sharing your life with us and your background. It's just a delight to know you better. Well, thank you. And it's a delight to be here. And I hope you get to know a lot of people here, too. Yes. I'm sure you will. You have that personality that works. So oh. thank you oh, so well, much, Judy. That was a conversation with Judy Beltman, and we're just hap so happy that she could be with us this morning. Thank you. Goodbye. That was great. It was. It's so fun to learn just a little bit more that I didn't know about people in these interviews. Mm -hmm. and man, it's so good. I think we have just one thing left to do. And that is, that's Ashley. That's Noah. And this has been Monday Morning. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.